I mean, they were, they were awful. They just brought me to the business and I was like, no, you shouldn't. You have no right. Right. No more innocent until proven guilty. Yeah. Hi. certainly put the PowerPoint on the website if you'd like. I know, it's hard. Oh, thank you. I have a website called Spy on Democracy. I have to sort of activate it. I'll put the, I'll put the slideshow on that. Thank you. Yes. The question was, Snowden had some issues that perhaps should have been vetted more carefully. The answer is, that's why it's problematic to contract out the bulk of our intelligence. Because there's no oversight, there's no accountability, and that's why I think, in part, we are not necessarily safer because our government is in this very close relationship with business where they sort of pat each other's back. So I think that's a problem. I'm afraid my voice is about to go. Uh, I could take one more question if there are any. Yes? This isn't my argument, but I've heard other people make it that basically we are all criminals. Because the legal code is just so long, and there are so many rules and laws. Everybody in here has probably broken at least five laws today, whether you know it or not. And the problem with being constantly surveilled and documented is that all of that gets called out, and then at any time it can be arbitrarily used against you. That's absolutely right. Um, to sort of sum up, there are many, many laws on the books. Many of them are hundreds you know, of years old. Um, at any one time, if you become unpopular, say you take to the public stage and speak out you know, against Monsanto, or you become very effective in your campaign, if the government, if law enforcement wants to, probably everyone in this room could be brought up on a charge. It might be minor, but uh, with increased records, yes. And that's one of the- It has a chilling effect. It has a very chilling effect on our activities, yeah. And it allows abuse by the government. Good point. Thank you so much. <laughs>